build this event. With your presence and support, we are sure that we can once again elevate the experience of our attendees and servants to greater heights. With your help, we are sure Kerygma Conference will once again bless and change lives. Not only that, you get to enjoy on-event mileages and be at the forefront of happy and inspired individuals. Be a KCON partner this year and help us help many. Calling all couples in the house, please join us at Lux Retreat. Lux Retreat happening on September 28 and 29 at Angels Hills Retreat Center, Tagaytay City. Retreat fee is 4,500 per couple, inclusive of accommodation, full board meals, and retreat kit. Sign up now and please visit our couples ministry table for inquiries. Please text Rick and Tina Nartea at 0917-577-6122. Before we start the feast, here are some safety reminders. Do not leave your bags and other personal belongings unattended. Remember to keep your mobile phones in silent mode to avoid any disruption during the feast. In an unlikely event of an emergency, remain calm and proceed to the designated event exits in an orderly manner. Mall and WFFA security will be on standby to... Pwede ako magkwento ulit. <laughs> Mabilis lang po. Um, last week, I attended a creative conference for worship team. For worship team. And may isang class po doon. Sabi ni Kuya, ni Brother Mike Vinyas, can you just stretch out your hands to experience the Lord? I did. I tried. Kaso may jacket dito sa, dito sa kamay ko. So ganito lang yung kamay ko. So parang sabi ko, Lord, feel naman kita, pero parang hindi masyado comfy. And what am I trying to say? Maybe you're holding on to something. I don't know what that thing is. Holding on to an 
an unforgiveness, a pain, hurt. Hindi ko alam. So today, I just invite you to let go of that jacket. Let go of what everything that is blocking you from just experiencing the vast love of God. It's just His presence. Amen. Can we do that tonight? I'm going to invite you to prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let's stretch out our hands as a sign of surrender to our loving Father. We praise you, Father. We praise you for everything that you are. We praise you for you are love. We praise you for your goodness. And God, tonight we surrender everything that is hindering us from receiving your love. Every pain, every anxiety, every sickness, every trial, we lay it down at the foot of your cross. Jesus, tonight, we focus, we focus on you. When we focus on you alone, Jesus, because Jesus, your name, your name is hope. Your name is mercy. Your name is victory. We just focus on your name, Father. Your name that is higher than every trial, stronger than every battle. We just want to worship you tonight.
those who belong to Jesus, give a shout to him right now. Could you please tap the person beside you, tell that person, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Come on, I want you to tap five hands. Give him a high five. Say that. I'm a believer. Go, go, go. I'm a believer. Give a hand to the Lord, everybody, for God's presence, your presence, and such a wonderful worship. Were you blessed with worship? Yeah? Amen. Let's give a hand to the Lord for our worship team. For Sister Jude, where are you? Where are you? There There she is. Everybody, welcome to WFFA. Welcome to the feast. This is where you are loved. This is where love connects. Amen. Amen. Tignan ang mukha na inyong katabi. Kailangan ba yan ng pagmamahal? Amen. Pakisabi naman sa kanya, buti nandito ka. Come on. Buti nandito ka. This is your home. This is our home. This is WFFA. May I know who has been here for the very first time? Please raise your hand. First time. First time. Welcome. Welcome. Kung katabi nyo naman, pakisabi, welcome. Welcome to the family. Welcome to Wafa family. And I'd like to welcome all of you to our newest series entitled Pope Culture. Wow, grabe, no? As opposed to pop culture, we say Pope Culture. Sabi nila, buti pa ang Roma, my papa. Sabi nila. <laughs> ewan ko lang, naho ko na huli yun kay Brother Bo. Pero ewan ko lang, no? Tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Pakisabi, may papa ka ba? <laughs> because many people do not do not recognize or do not understand the role of the pope in their lives and friends i'm just going to surprise you this this series it's going to flabbergast you my gosh uh, th- this word flabbergast pakisabi nga flabbergast yeah no, flabbergast it will it will flabbergast you why because i do believe if we get to know the pope and what he stands for you're really gonna be blessed. Now, who here 
Fan nyo si Pope Francis. Please raise nyo. Ay, fan kayo ni Pope Francis. Fan nyo si Pope Francis. Fan kayo ni Pope Francis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, I, I'm also a fan of Pope. Let's show his picture. You know, I love... That's not his picture that I wanted to show. <laughs> Earlier. That one. Yan. Nawala tuloy yung surprise ko. <laughs> Alright. So this is the picture that we uh, that we are so used to. Alright. This is the picture that we're so used to. And um, tignan nyo ang mukha na inyong katabi. Ganyan makaholy. Yung mukha na inyong katabi. Parang pagkaganyan. Grabe, no? For many people, they think, they think that the, the Pope is, is so holy. Ganyan, ganyan. Parang malayo. So that's why I wanted another picture. And this is the picture that I wanted all of us to look at. Alright? Yan. Yan. Tignan yung mukha na inyong katabi. Ganyan naman. Because I like to tell you, the Pope isn't this what isn't supposed to be a symbol of being so serious in life, and that the idea of holiness is that you're supposed to be quiet and you're supposed to be sad. No, this is holiness right there. It's happy. It is joy. It is. It is a thing. If what is holiness? It is when you're close to God. And God is the source of all joy. Do you get it? So if you're close to God, you're supposed to be happy. Amen? Don Bosco said, A sad Christian is a bad Christian. Oh my gosh. Tapikin ng katabi, pakisabi, narinig mo yun. Because we understand that despite the difficulties of life, if you have made Jesus your Lord and Savior, things are gonna be A-O-K. Amen? Amen? And you can trust Him. You can trust that life will be good. Even despite of and in spite of all the difficulties in life, life is still good. Because God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Yung mga mukha ninyo, ang sinasabi niyo, pero hindi na kang ite. Pag-isabi na naman, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Tap the person beside you, tell that person, you better believe it. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, that's why we're trying to have a new culture here. Pope culture, pagkasabi ka, Pope culture, the subtitle is How to Have Authentic Joy. Who wants to be joyful here? Are you sure? Punta mas ang kamay ninyo ang katabay, pagkasabi, siguraduhin mo naman. If you really want to be joyful, choose to be happy today. Amen? Are you ready to declare joy in your life? Today and the rest of this series, expect that God will bless you. I'd like to tell you really, this series is the heart and soul of our Pope. And I tell you, it will also change your life. Are you ready to declare? Let's come before God. Tignan ang mukha ninyong katabi. Na-bless na ba? Nahangiti na? No? Bakit nakasamangot pa? If you're comfortable opening your arms this way, that's great. But the most important thing is you open your heart, you open your mind. Ready? In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, together let us declare, Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word, so I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am, I am, I am. God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. We honor the word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Praise God. Once again, I'd like to welcome all of you to Pope Culture. Kaya nga, ganito po yung outfit ko, kahit papano, mukhang, mukhang Pope. Hindi naman mukhang Pope, di ba? So, basta yung, may, may, may puti. I thought that with you, if you remember the first time Pope came out, and people were just flabbergasted. Why? Because he was not Italian. He was different. Kakaiba siya. Tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Kakaiba ba yan? No? <laughs> Pag sabi naman sa kanya, you're unique. <laughs> 
And that's exactly what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the unique message of Pope Francis amidst pop culture. Pope culture is going to be very different from pop culture. No? Tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Trendy ba yan? Trendy. Stylish. I mean like, I mean, we'll blend in with the, with the culture of the world, you know. Now, that's cool, that's okay. But we're gonna say, God's culture is a call to a level up of our present culture. Pagasabi, level up. Pagasabi sa katabi, are you ready to level up? You've been here in the feast, you got to know Jesus. But I'm gonna tell you, this series is going to drill in the main message of why we are Christian. That's why our talk today is entitled, everybody? Evangelii. You can even say, Evangelii. Yeah, no? Kasi i, no? And why? Because it's a unique talk. For the very first time, brothers and sisters, we're gonna have in the series of the feast, a papal letter. Tignan natin ang picture na ito. This is a sample of the papal letter. Ganyan. Evangelii Gaudium. Can you say that? Evangelii Gaudium. Nako, Brother Jay. Latin. Boring yan. No, bakit? Why are we talking about a papal um, document? Friends, I'm gonna tell you, it's far from boring. If this were boring, when Brother Bo and us builders, we will not say that we're gonna have a whole month talking about this. But I tell you, September, we're gonna munch into the message of Pope Francis because this is an identity that we'd like to share. Brothers and sisters, every sentence of this letter is the Pope's heart, heartbeat. Every word is as if talking to the Pope himself. This document stands for himself and stands for the life that he lives. It's as if he is a living example of this document. He is the Tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Humble ba yan? Sir, ako humble. Like, no, patay. Patay pag ganyan. No? I mean, like, it seems to be the opposite. Oh my gosh. Third message. Everybody read. Everyone is equal. Yan. Everyone is equal. Pantay, pantay tayo. Bakit? The church is human. The popes are human. The priests are human. I am human. You are human. Tignan ang katabi. Human? I am consistent. If we want to say yes when we're gonna die, this is my tip. Ask me what? We have to be used to saying yes already while we're living. Do you get this? Because if you're so used to saying no while you're living, how are you sure that at the moment of death, you're gonna say yes? Are you listening? Because we're creatures of habit. We're creatures of habit. And for many people, they'll say, okay, uh, magda-diet naman ako. Bukas. mag exercise ako next week. Magsa-savings na ako next week. Everyone is equal. Let's wait. Let's not judge. Last message, everybody. Everyone Focus on Jesus. If, I'm going to give a hand to the Lord. That's the message. Ito yon. If the Pope is not perfect, if the Pope is not all these good things, then that's great. Why? Ask me why. Then he's not the center. Jesus is the center of our faith. Amen. That's all that he's saying. That's all that we're trying to say. Every human organization will always be broken, including the church. Why? so that we will remain desperate for Jesus. Even the Pope, the bishops, the priests, the nuns, they're not going to be perfect because at the end of the day, we don't look for our salvation in them. We look for our salvation in the Lord alone. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, could you read? The sinfulness of the church compels us to keep our eyes on Jesus. Not on any human being, not on any institution. Here's what we need to do. Ask me what? Keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen? Just keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't focus on your badness. Focus on your, on His goodness. Ito rin, don't be too what? Judgmental to yourself. I'm saying don't judgment, 
don't be judgmental of other people, but also don't be judgmental to yourself. Because if you're judgmental to yourself, guess what? You're going to be judgmental to other people. Haplosin nyo ang katabi ninyo. Kung kilala nyo yan, pag hindi nyo kilala, wag nyo haplosin. No? Pakisabi, be gentle on yourself. Pakisabi. Remember you are loved. Remember you are forgiven. If you say yes to him, like our first pope, you'll be surprised at what God can also do through you and what God is will, what will God do with you. All right? Keep your eyes on Jesus. I'd like to end. Um, I'll end with this last story, one other fall of Peter. Literal fall. Ask me what? Remember, it was a stormy night. And they were at sea. And suddenly, they saw a man walking on water. Sino dito nakakita na ng multo? Ayan, walang, walang umaamin. <laughs> but that was their experience. They thought it was a ghost. Let's all read the scripture. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But what happens? We continue. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied. Notice it's Peter again speaking, not the other apostles. It's Peter. Tell me to come to you on the water. What did Jesus say? Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on water, and came toward Jesus. Grabe. Naglakad si Peter sa tubig. Sino dito gusto ng ganon? Who here would like to walk on water? Talaga? Bakit? <laughs> Lalang, Tata Jerry, saya eh, no? Sikat ako niyan, pag ganyan, I walk on water. But hey, Peter walked on water only for a short time. Only for the short time. Why? Why? You know? Next verse. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Takot ba yan? Could you all stand, brothers and sisters? Friends, I have something to say. Ask me what? Read it. We will always sink when we focus on the wind and the waves in the storms of our life. Who here are having their own storms? Raise your hand. Talaga. Tignan ang katabi na nag-raise ng hand. Gulong-gulo na ba ang hair? Mahangin, mahangin. Grabe. Grabe ba ang storm nyo ngayon? As in, duguan na ba duguan? Brothers and sisters, in the midst of all the storms in our life, Jesus is saying, focus on me. Focus on my message. Life now, it's so difficult. We have bad news everywhere. Yeah? No? And maybe some of you, your storms are all bad news. It's bad news about your mom, your dad, your, your kids, your husband, your wife. Bad news about yourself. You say bad news to yourself, right? And you even what? Post it in front of your mirror. <laughs> you recall it every time you sleep, every time you wake up. You say, Lord, kayo mahala, pero daladan nyo pa rin yung bad news. Brothers and sisters, this is it. You need to get rid of your Simon and get on with your Peter. You need to get rid of your pop culture and get on with your pop culture. You need to get rid of the bad news and discover the good news that comes from Jesus. Evangelii Gaudium says this, The joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who encounter Jesus. The heart of its message will always be the same. The God who revealed His immense love in the crucified and risen Christ. In the basic core, in this basic core, what shines forth is the beauty of the saving love of God made manifest in Jesus Christ who died and rose from the dead. For Pope Francis, brothers and sisters, it's all about Jesus. 
Our faith, our life is all about Jesus. It's not about your money. It's not about your issues. It's not about the difficulties in the world. It's still about Jesus. Brother Jay, are we going to be blindsided with what's happening in the world? No. What we're just saying is this. What are you focusing on? Yes, the negative in our life is always going to be there. We're not yet in heaven. But the point here is this. Jesus came to your life right now to tell you you have a Savior, to tell you that life is better, to ask you not to observe the water, but to walk on water. Do you get me? Friends who are willing to walk on water here, please raise your hand. Kung tumas ka man in yung katabi, pagkasabi, sigurado ka. Friends, note that when this gospel was written, the disciples that are tossed and turned by the storm on the ship. The ship represented the church. Understand that when the gospel was written, that was the time of persecution. Many people were dying. Many people were being persecuted of the faith. And that's why when they saw this powerful story, they were reminded, hey, don't center on the persecution. Don't center on the, on the killings. Don't center on the suffering. Center, focus on Jesus, He is our Savior. He is the one why we're living. He is who we believe in. Keep your eyes on Jesus. People were asking, will we survive? Will the church survive? Will the faith survive? And the gospel was saying, keep your eyes on Jesus. Today, the church is facing different storms. But I believe this. Ask me what? We will survive. Because our, we are founded on rock. We are founded on rock. And we will not be moved. So keep your eyes on Jesus. You have a storm, keep your eyes on Jesus. If the leaders of the church fail you, keep your eyes on Jesus. If the church disappoints you, keep your eyes on Jesus. If your family hurts you, keep your eyes on Jesus. Friends bet betray you, keep your eyes on Jesus. Business fails, keep your eyes on Jesus. You're sick, keep your eyes on Jesus. Financial lack, keep your eyes on Jesus. Broken hearted, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep it there. Because if you center on the wind and waves, you're gonna sink. Just like Peter. And Peter said, Lord Jesus, save me. You know what happens? It is this what happened. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Who here are ready to believe? Who here are ready not?